Hello, me again. Right, finished second pond. This is the two and a half by one and a half. It's only a dinky thing compared to what we normally do, isn't it? But uh, I believe this is just going to be a goldfish pond because um, it's not really deep enough for koi. Because you don't have koi in there up to about 30 centimetres long, really, wouldn't you? You don't have anything much bigger than that. So, on the other pond that we've just built, I'm not sure if I'm going to do this in the same video or not, but just to show you what I mean about the window using a line, if you look down here, you, well you can eye it up as well, you can just kind of eye up and make sure that's a straight line all the way through. Because when they come to put the piece of glass on the back here, if that was like, you know, even just half a centimetre out, it'd make a massive difference as to whether it's actually flat or not. So you, your glass would be like this and there'd be a gap behind it and then it'd look all cockeyed when you, you come back here and then you'll hate it forever. So make sure you spend the time and build it properly. Um, so yeah, we've done this, it's only 60 centimetres high, so this is, we've done, laid it on the thin end. So it's like we're a cheaper version of the other pond kits we do. And what you will do with regards to the window, So when it comes to fitting the window, you'll find a few bits of timber in with your kit. And all you need to do, you can just put one piece, you don't need to put two, but some people prefer having one now and then they'll cut it to the exact length of the window and have it under there. But what you want to do, you can measure your glass and then you can make sure that you set this the exact height that you want it. So this piece of glass is 500i. We recommend having the glass a bit higher because you don't want it to well, you don't want the glass being too low because you won't be able to fill your pond up all the way. Uh, and if you do have koi, they will try and jump through a window if it's too high as well. So you screw that in. So you just need a screw either end to level it, and then another three screws in the middle. All this is doing is supporting it while it's going off. So um, this doesn't have to be really strong. The sealant's what's going to hold the glass on. Um, so yeah, it's really strong. So yeah, just in case of screwing that. Make sure you get a spirit level. So get a screw on one side then get a spirit level and then screw it on the other side because um, again water has its way of finding the level <laughs> and it, if it is out you'll be able to notice it quite easily so yeah, any questions or anything let us know i'll show you how to screw it actually while i'm here before i forget so the bottom course you don't put any screws in um apart from the corners yeah so what i normally do is i'll get this top top piece matching here screw that in and then get the bottom piece matching because it can that piece can swing like that. Get two screws in each of the corners, so one at the bottom, one at the top, and then one at the top, one at the bottom on each of these other courses as well. And then you're going to have lots of extra long screws with this one, so you screw all the way down into the course below. So this here is the same size as that second piece down there, so it's just a mirror image, it just kind of flips over every, every course you've only oh, only got three so it shouldn't be too confusing so what you need to do i'd put one two three four in the smaller piece either side of the window and then i'd put four in there and then one extra one in the corner because that'll tie the corner together in these two pieces the end piece one two three four five six seven so i'd have seven in the end piece either end and then this back one, you'd have 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then one tie in the corner. So you'd have 10. Then just do the same on the course below, and then you'd be right as rain. Just show you what it looks like from a bit of a distance. We're bending the background. Looking all shifty. And then you cope in. You can either mitre it, or you can just have it, you know, do the opposite of what's here. So you can have this piece going all the way across. But you can find that that might look a bit ugly. So we recommend mitering if you can. If you can't, then you're going to have to... What, what looks best normally is just continuing all the way across. Because then when you sat down and you're looking at it, all you can see is a continuous piece going all the way across there. But yeah, any questions, just give us a shout and we'll be able to offer you some help.